Did you know this podcast is powered by Acast? Acast is the home of podcasting for creators looking for freedom to grow their listeners and make money too. And creative brands looking for smart ways to advertise. Podcasters and advertisers in the know know Acast. It's time you did too. Visit Acast.com to find out more. Acast for the stories. Hey guys, Giants Beat reporter Zach Rosenblatt here from NJ Advance Media, and this is your latest update powered by the Talk is Cheap podcast. The Giants season opens on Sunday against the Denver Broncos at MetLife Stadium. The biggest questions going into that game and the season are entirely related to the health of some of their key offensive weapons. First, running back Saquon Barkley. He tore his ACL last year in September, and the Giants have been taking it slow with him in his comeback. He only just started getting hit in practice recently, and he's been limited in practice all week. But the expectation should be that he'll play on Sunday for the first time in a year, albeit in a limited role. Expect Devontae Booker to get the bulk of the workload at running back to start out the season. The other important players battling back from injury are Kenny Galladay, Kadarius Toney, and Kyle Rudolph. Galladay hurt his hamstring in training camp and missed most of the summer, but has been practicing more lately, albeit in a limited basis like Saquon Barkley. But he is expected to play in some capacity on Sunday. The same goes for Kadarius Toney, the rookie first-round pick at wide receiver, who is battling his way back from the effects of COVID-19 and a hamstring injury, but has looked ready to go more recently. He might be the number one kick returner on Sunday. And then Rudolph had an off-season foot surgery that kept him out most of camp, but the veteran tight end is healthy now and expected to start on Sunday with Evan Ingram, who has a calf injury, likely not playing. The Giants made upgrades across their roster at key positions this offseason, except the offensive line, and that's the biggest concern heading into the season. Rather than add any notable new players, the Giants cut Kevin Zeitler and opted to focus on the development of their young offensive linemen. In the preseason, that looked like a massive error. Matt Parrott struggled enough at right tackle that he lost a starting job to Nate Solder, who was out of football last year and terrible in 2019. Andrew Thomas had an awful game against the Patriots in the preseason finale. Shane Lemieux has been injured most of camp and wasn't very good last year at left guard. Nick Gates at center and Will Hernandez at right guard have been the only consistent starters in training camp, but Hernandez struggled last year and has been a disappointment in his career so far. If the O-line isn't better this year than last year, then the season could be a disaster for the offense right out of the gate, especially against pass rushers like Von Miller and Bradley Chubb on the Broncos. Daniel Jones will start off his third year in a matchup against an elite secondary in Denver, led by rookie Patrick Sertan, and against a veteran quarterback in Teddy Bridgewater who beat out Drew Locke in training camp. Also, Sunday will mark the return of former Giants head coach Pat Shermer to MetLife Stadium. Shermer is the offensive coordinator for the Broncos and has been since last year. Giants game against the Broncos kicks off at 4.25 p.m. on Sunday at MetLife Stadium. For all the latest Giants news, turn to the sports section of NJ.com and download the Talk is Cheap podcast wherever podcasts are available. Acast powers the world's best podcasts. Here's an episode we recommend. History This Week, September 11th, 2001. Captain Richard Thornton is piloting his ferry boat across New York Harbor when he sees two planes hit the World Trade Center. And that's when we pulled the 180 degree turn and we just headed south to uh, the World Trade Center area. Soon, countless other ferries, tugboats, and pleasure crafts join him. All available boats, this is the United States Coast Guard. Anyone want to help with the evacuation of Lower Manhattan, report to Governor's Island. Find out how this heroic, impromptu rescue mission came together and how Captain Thornton sees it 20 years later on History This Week, available wherever you get your podcasts. ACAST, A-cast. 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 recommends. <laughs>